Hi, Tamika here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my homeschool library haul. Yay! This is my pre-spring library haul. Um, typically, I keep these books for about four to eight weeks, depending on how... Um, how my kiddos are enjoying them. I'll keep renewing them over and over and over again. So what you're looking at is about 150 books from my local library. And I have also mixed them with a few of my own books. So um, I won't be able to go through each basket today, but in another video, I will go through each basket and uh, let you see what books I have. So here, um, I have a kiddo who's interested in dinosaurs. He absolutely loves dinosaurs. So these are a few books that we owned um, already, but I noticed that sometimes the kids aren't picking the books off of the shelves on their own. So I typically like to do things like this so that it would encourage them or inspire them to read. So this is our chess setup. Um, all of my kiddos learn how to play chess. And so I really want them to look through some of these and in a few I think it's is it in one of these books uh, one of these books actually has a treasure in it and by treasure I mean let's see if I can ah there we have it and that says yay finish this book and you get to keep the money so from time to time I will hide treasure in a book um, the kids don't know which book and um, only one has ever found a treasure and when he did he was so psyched about reading the book and actually keeping the money so that was great and then the other kids were like oh I want to find some treasure too so I said well you have to finish your book you never know and um, these are our chess magazines that we get in the mail um, because we are also a homeschool chess club called Chess Savvy so we've got those and this is a basket of Lego books here just some books about Legos and then these are our Lego magazines that we also get in the mail because we are a part of the Lego Club so we've got these McDonald's um, even though we don't eat McDonald's but um, I did go and purchase the Lego movie toys just for them to kind of have and uh, this basket is all about birds so most of these books um, as a matter of fact all of these books have come from the library and let's see swing along over here this is a book about uh, making money and so I'll just kind of flip through really quickly some of the titles in this series. These are books that I own. So these are from my personal library and the rest of these books are from the public library, Kids Making Money, Go Green. And this is all about shopping choices. And this is a story, um, this is a book that I actually own as well. The Go Around Dollar, it's how the dollar, um, how a dollar bill circulates after you uh, purchase something. And this is the Big Buck Adventure, which is pretty much the same thing, but only a different story, of course. And um, this is a basket of collage uh, books. <laughs> Basically, um, there's no theme to this uh, basket at all. Just a few um, books here. The Book Itch, I love this book. Welcome, Precious, A Sweet Smell of Roses, The Stone Thrower, Sisters and Champions, and Game Changers about Serena and Venus Williams. These books are for my, um, my six-year-old who has just learned to read and she is doing a fantastic job and so I picked up a bunch of books because basically she is flying through <laughs> the story so she's got a basket there and um uh oh I'm on my knees guys because uh the books are a little bit low to the floor so this is um a basket about dance so all these books have to do with dance this is Beautiful Ballerina, a, di a Dictionary of Dance, 
And this is the story, T is for Tutu. Okay, and here on the floor we have, um, this basket is about camping and outdoor books. This one is about ladybugs. My kids absolutely love ladybugs, which is why I guess I gave it its own basket. And this is a folder full of activities. I'm not going to go through it, but it has um, a bunch of different activities for us to do with ladybugs. So um, I thought that would be fun for them. And these don't have a basket yet. Um, I haven't found a place to put them yet, but uh, one of my kiddos is heavily into skateboarding right now. So I um, found a few of these and then my kids love to uh, ride bikes. My son does. He loves to ride bikes. And so I thought that would be interesting for him. And... I thought this might be interesting for them. Video game developer and then military drones, civilian drones. And over here on this table, we have a basket about insects. And so I put um, a couple of these uh, magnifying glasses inside and just a few insects around here for them to kind of play with and explore. And um, let's see, there's books about ants, bumblebees, ant cities, Animal architects, ants, killer ants. Love that. This is a book called Bees. And uh, take a closer look at bees. And then another, The Case of the Vanishing Honeybees. This is not really a storybook. This is a book probably that I would have to read a few of the pages to them. Uh, basically informing them of... Um, how the bumblebee is now on the endangered list. So I thought that would be interesting to learn about. And this is a storybook about bumblebees. And over here we have amphibians. So I've got a book on chameleons and crocodiles and a few of the little creatures here on the table. And this basket has um, animal flashcards, books about crocodiles and alligators, lizards. Uh, let's see. Iguana, uh oh, I'm knocking things down. Iguanas, American alligators, alligators, and Komodo dragons. Yeah, I'm making a big mess here. Okay, and over here, uh, my kids love marbles, so um, instead of the, just having, and I really don't know how to play marbles myself, um, but I have a bunch of them that we use for different activities. So I thought it would be a lot of fun for them to learn some marbles games. So this book is from the library. This book is uh, my book that we purchased probably a couple years ago, but never really used. I think we used it like once or twice. And uh, this basket is for fractions. And I've got a couple of books. This book, The Doorbell Rang, is more division than it is fractions. But um, this, these two I had on hand. And because we were studying fractions most recently in math, I thought I would, you know, dedicate a basket uh, to fractions so that they would have a few activities um, to do. And um, we are in the process of putting together a large four-tier diorama of the rainforest, of the Amazon rainforest for our local library, for display at our local library. And so this basket, of course, is filled with um, Amazon rainforest books or just different rainforest books. I do not know how this book got in there. One of the kids put that in there. doesn't go. And um, some flashcards, animal flashcards. And then the baskets on the floor here. This one is sea creatures. Um, so I've got a bunch of those little sharks and whales and different sea creatures in here. So books about manatees and sharks. This is a critical thinking game called Water World. I love this game. Um, basically what you do is you look at the picture and um, you go according to the numbers. So you start with number one. It has five frogs. So these are little magnetic panels that kind of stick to the board. And what you do is you have to arrange them in a way that only five of the frogs are exposed. So, and once you've done that, and, and you can switch them, they don't have to go in 
same order. They can go in different order. And so basically, once you have only five frogs exposed, you have to cover the other creatures, then you know that you've done it correctly. So this is a fairly new game for us, probably just a couple weeks old. And um, also in this box, I have dolphins and whales in a box. This is a box of stickers and activities and, you know, coloring pages and all that other good stuff. And here is the aquarium, the complete aquarium adventure. I love this book. This book is humongous with great pictures and information about all different kinds of sea creatures. I got this book from Ollie's. I think it was maybe about two or three dollars from Ollie's. So, I mean, a great buy. I can't stick it back in there. Um, and let's see, we've got the octopus garden. And then over here, we have a few books about um, eating healthy, which is something that we do. Uh, my kids um, are aware of what genetic engineering is or GMOs. They know what types of uh, foods are GMO. So I thought to expand their knowledge even further, we would include that book. So, And then on this side over here, we have books about frogs. My kids love frogs. They are always finding frogs in the backyard, playing with them and, you know, exploring them and different things like that. So this is a critical thinking game that we bought recently called Hoppers. I thought it would be fun to add this and a few of our little plastic frogs. And uh, my son did this a few years ago where he did the anatomy of the frog and he actually put this together and I thought it was really cool to keep. So they can look at that. And then we've got a bunch of books about frogs. Some are informational books and some are like storybooks. Uh, for my little ones, Jump Frog Jump, or my six and seven year old, they would not like to be called little ones. And um, let's see, Tadpole, from Tadpole to Frog, from Egg to Adult. I love this book here.